um, I'm Julia from Hong Kong. And uh, the topic of my um, research, uh, uh, the topic of my presentation is substituting uh, simulated work practice for clinical practice during the COVID-19 pandemic. It is an action research. Let me start with the background of this study. All the clinical practicums uh, for nursing students in Hong Kong has been suspended since February of last year. A, um, a school of nursing used the nursing laboratory to simulate a ward for 121 nursing students to complete 120 to 350 outstanding CP hours in medical and surgical areas. Um, so, an, an action research approach was employed in this study. The aim of this study is to uh, explore the um, simulated work practice on um, the impacts on nursing students, teachers, and school administrators, and to reveal how a quality Simulated work practice can be conducted effectively and efficiently in the future. This study constitutes the first cycle of an action research. Here, in the um, constructing and planning action phase, a task force was formed and responsible for constructing and planning the simulated work. And the teachers um, carried out a simulation training in the simulator ward to the students. And at the end, after the training, the um, cost evaluation survey and individual um, interviews were used to evaluate the simulation training program. The participants of this study include the students, teachers, and the task force, task force members. A total of 121 final year students who were pursuing a higher diploma in nursing program, and all of them had undergone their first and second uh, clinical practicums. So um, they uh, had the uh, uh, practice uh, at this um, simulator ward uh, for their third and fourth clinical practicum. And a total of 14 teachers were assigned as the mentors of the students. Uh, both of them uh, worked together at this simulated ward. A task force uh, includes the Dean of the School of Nursing and nine academic uh, staff, which uh, was responsible for planning the simulation training program, and I was the one of the task force members. A simulator was, uh, was launched and implemented from the 1st of August uh, last year to 18th of September, and the students um, uh, worked there eight hours each day from Monday to Friday, sometimes um, on Saturday too. Um, they ranged from three to six uh, weeks long, and the students um, worked in pair. And one, when a student was the case nurse, the other student as, as a simulated patient, their roles um, were, be swapped, uh, were swapped every week. All the cases um, uh, we used uh, in the simulator ward were scenario-based cases and well-designed starting from admission to discharge or death. The routine schedule in the real con clinical context were embedded in the um, simulation training program, such as taking the vital signs, administration of medication, doctor run, special procedure like um, lumbar puncture, bone marrow biopsy, and some uh, in, uh, incidents um, were also embedded. For example, the um, patient uh, 
uh, had a sort of convulsion, fall injury, and uh, cardiac arrest, etc. Um, the actual uh, academic staff, the teachers, I mean, um, they were the, uh, some of them, uh, the majority of them were mentors, and uh, some of them were um, simulated doctors um, who performed doctor run every day. And the mentor to student ratio is one to six to eight. Um, this is the rundown of each day, which we make um, AM shift duty, uh, AM clinical duty in the simulated ward. You can uh, you can see here the student uh, start to work at eight thirty until um four thirty p.m. and afterwards they will um they afterwards they had a briefing section uh, with the main force for around one hour. Um, for the methodology, um, telephone or face-to-face um, -face in individual interviews with the students, mentors, and the task force members were carried out. And then electronic evaluation forms were sent to the students and the mentors after the end of the simulation training. After gathered and analyzed the data, a framework for employing a simulated work training to replace CPRs um, was developed. Um, before uh, we um, employed this action research, um, the research team uh, obtained an approval from the research ethics committees and uh, also obtain, obtain uh, informed consent for all the interviews. Here are the results. A total of 23 individual semi-structured semi interviews were conducted with nine students, nine mentors, and five task force members. The students um, expressed that they were very satisfied with the arrangement they felt very impressive and fulfilling. Such kind of training, they expressed that it was very good to them, particularly before the graduation, because um, um, some of the procedures they were not allowed to do in the ward. So um, for example, um, the intravenous infusion, blood transfusion, CPR, case management, etc. They were very glad that they could learn more from their classmates and mentors at the debriefing sections. But they were very keen to increase the, the complexity of scenarios in the future because they want to learn more and more. Furthermore, a few of them expressed that such kind of training could also be arranged before the, their first clinical practicum because it could uh, reduce um, their frustration and um, they thought that they could um, catch up the clinical environment more easily. From the mentors, um, from the uh, individual uh, interviews with the mentors, more of the and they, they, the, more, the mentors found that uh, most of the students were actively participate in the training because they were um, allowed to participate in many procedures that they seldom had opportunity to get involved, involved in what. And this um, simulation training provides an opportunity to enhance some advanced nursing skills particularly the case management, handover duty, etc. And this simulated environment um, was, uh, un it was an it was a under controlled environment. Students were allowed to make mistakes. Students were allowed to take time to think before they take an action. However, 
the mentors also expressed that this uh, this um training um re, uh, was very time consuming and labor intensive. From the interviews with the task force members, they um expressed that um the availability of the learning laboratories, uh, equipments, uh, consumable items, labor, scenarios, the training and briefing to the staff, and the contingency plan, and the, uh, and the policy in relation to the COVID-19 are, uh, are very crucial. And um, the communication between uh, stakeholders is um, also very important too, because uh, some resistance, misunderstandings, and tension were seen in the uh, planning phase, as well as the um, early stage of the um, of the taking action phase. Um, um, this is the result uh, uh, collected from the evaluation forms from the students. Um, a total, um, a one third of the students uh, uh, of the uh, re responses were received. The first part, um, there were six statements in the first part asking the students to rate. And then there were three open-end questions in the second part. But um, no specific comments were received from this part. And uh, you can see um, from the slide, it showed that there were, um, the students were very satisfied um, with the training. And the mutual of these uh, all six items ranged from 4.3 to 4.6. So you can see that they were very satisfied with the simulation training. And um, from the uh, results uh, collected from the um, teachers, I mean the um, simulated doctors and the mentors, um, among these um, live team uh, responded, five of them were the simulated doctors and 14 of them were the mentors. From the um, questionnaire, um, 60, uh, there were two parts. The first part were, um, was put as 11 items, 11 statements for them to read. And in the second part, uh, it were, uh, there were four open end questions. The results showed the mean score of all 17 items ranged from 3.2 um, to 4.8 from the simulated doctor. And, uh, but uh, you can see that uh, mentor rate and um, the ratings from the mentor is um, comparative lower than the simulated doctor. It's um, it only 2.43 to 4.14. Um, from their responses, you, you can see that both of uh, both the simulated doctors and the mentors um, reflect that the um, uh, the working hours of each day, um, um, it maybe um, it is uh, it was too um, lengthy for them because um, they work from uh, early morning um, uh, for consecutive um, nine hours every day, so that um, our students can um, could um, complete all the outstanding clinical uh, hours and schedule their graduation and did not be um, delayed. From the, um, uh, uh, here we come to the results uh, uh, of the comments from the teachers. Um, the teachers um, uh, expressed that the simulator would provide a controlled environment for students to practice so that the students uh, felt less pressure and, uh, and as well as um, more protected time was um, provided um, so that um, the student had more time and have um, a deeper learning from them. But 
they also noticed that some of the students were not actively participated in the simulate and uh, what um, maybe uh, it was related to the uh, level of causality. Um, why they were saying that is um, because um, the um, the students um, also at as the uh, simulated patient, and they um, were, although we have uh, provided a script for them, but um, actually they were not patient, they had ne less clinical experience, so maybe um, the, their response is not um, really true. And um, when um, they uh, need to perform some uh, clinical uh, procedures like insertion of urinary catheter, they could only um, uh, uh, carry it out uh, on a mannequin, all right? So, uh-huh. And uh, one of the respondents um, was a uh, fear about the risk of contracting COVID-19 during the tra um, training period. And I did um, from the teachers' comment. They also um, uh, uh, they also expressed that there uh, was the room to increase the the complexity of the case scenarios, um, level of fatality, and uh, they also um, expressed um, they may have a room to use. Um, other technology to uh, increase the le level of fidelity, such as the uh, virtual re um, reality. Uh, from the uh, comments of the survey, um, we all, uh, the, the teachers also uh, expressed that um, the whole um, simulation training program was very time consuming in, and drained a lot of manpower. Um, uh, from uh, all the data we collect from the uh, teachers, students, and the task force members, um, the research team developed this framework. Um, it is composed of five areas. They are the environment, people, learning and teaching, policies, and evaluation. At the environment part, you can see that um, the, uh, the availability of the learning laboratories, the size of premises, and the number of mannequins, as well as the adequacy of the equipment are crucial to, um, for running a simulated work, particularly if um, there were many students. Um, apart from the environment, people is also a concern because um, the, uh, since the number of students are at, at quite many and uh, um, much um, outstanding clinical practicum hours were lit to make up. So um, the staffing uh, was a concern. And uh, apart from that, the other, the other supporting departments like the facilities management um, division, uh, the uh, canteen, and the, also the um, uh, cleansing um, staff were very important, uh, particularly under the COVID-19 pandemic, um, because um, the, uh, the cleansing staff uh, had to um, disinfect the, um, uh, the equipment, the environment twice a day. And uh, under the uh, pandemic, um, students need to um, keep social, social distancing um, in the canteen. So we had to um, make sure the, um, the, um, there was um, um, adequate space for them um, to take a meal uh, during the lunch hour. And um, also 
also the um uh, we have to um briefing the students at at a simulated location. So and maybe in the future and um, other than student um the, the school of nursing uh, had also um maybe need to consider uh, what kind of simulated patient should be used to um maintain the level of uh, fidelity for the learning and teaching the duration is also uh, of each training section is very important too because you can see that um from the uh students and the teachers comment um both of them um uh, express um, uh, particularly the um, academic staff from the uh, teachers they expressed that the duration of the training in um, was very uh, long and very exhausted um also the teacher to student ratio is um uh, is the concern too because um um in the real situation in hong kong um the teacher to student ratio in the clinical context is um one to eight so um it um the the ratio has also be considered where uh, what is the appropriate ratio in a uh, simulated ward um, apart from that a structured learning and teaching materials and the assessment tool um, are also very important um, from this study, um, the, the uh, academic staff spent a lot of uh, spent a plenty of time to design the scenario, the teaching and learning materials, one set for the student and the other set for the mentors. And, um, and given that this is um, uh, this uh, simulator watch training was used to compensate the um, clinical practice hours. So a structured assessment um, documents uh, or uh, a set of uh, assessments were very important. Um, it is it needed to uh, ensure it could um, evaluate um, the page at the students and uh, clinical performance. Um, also the um, training to staff to the other academic staff, um, it's very important because, as I said, uh, in there were um, conflict, um, no, no conflict. There were some uh, misunderstanding and um, some tension aroused in the uh, planning phase and at the uh, early stage of um, um, action, uh, action taking phase um, to minimize such um, misunderstanding or um, to reduce the tension, um, training to um, staff uh, is necessary. In this study, um, the research, um, the, the School of Nursing um, had made a video uh, to show all the teaching, uh, all the um, academic staff, how actually how to um, run this simulated work and how to um, provide coaching um, to the um, students and as well as um, um, the expected um, uh, teaching and learning and, and the outcomes were uh, disseminated in the videos. Before um, commencing the program, a briefing section to um, all the students and um, teaching staff are very important too because um, it could provide an um, uh, uh, understanding so that uh, everything could uh, uh, smooth could run smoothly. Um, because this um, uh, 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 this training uh, was carried out under a COVID nineteen pandemic, so uh, a relevant um, policy or guidelines should be um, in place. Um, for instance, um, uh, infection control or the precautionary measures like um, uh, uh, measuring temperature for all the students before they uh, entered into the uh, nursing laboratory and uh, every day the uh, clinical staff um, need to um, check 
if the student uh, residents uh, had any uh, suspected COVID, uh, suspected or confirmed uh, COVID-19 cases, if um, there was case in their building, they um, were not allowed to come so that uh, um, the school could um, control or prevent uh, any outbreak during the, um, that period. Last but not least, um, for the ev evaluation is also a very um, crucial part uh, of the whole project because some um, uh, students and the staff uh, input could help the school to evaluate the um, quality of learning and teaching. So um, their comments also provide insights um, for the school administrators um, um, to, um, to ensure the, um, it, uh, the quality and um, whether they need to um, adjust or revise the whole program so that um, the, evalu the uh, data collected from the evaluation will provide insights for the next uh, cycle or um, for the uh, next running of the simulator board. Here we come to the discussion. Um, uh, most of the students expressed that um, they enjoyed the learning in the simulator board very much, but it did. Uh, also drink a lot of manpower. Um, perhaps students um, may be also benefit from such kind of simulation training before their first clinical practicum because um, they thought that um, uh, it could provide a basic understanding of the work routine and the environment so that um, um, it could uh, alleviate their um, uh, uh, frustration and facilitate their um, uh, integration. We learned that uh, a few countries have employed use, uh, using simulation to replace CP hours, but um, which type of simulation is the best and um, how many hours um, can be replaced? Even though the simulated work practice is very close to the clinical context, it still has its downsides. For instance, the students could not work with um, other healthcare workers uh, and the patient families. Um, also, the response rate of the survey is relatively relatively low, and so. Um, results may not be able to reflect the true impact on students. Moreover, a follow-up study with this batch of students might be needed so that um, the researcher could understand more about the long-term impact on their clinical competency. Last but not least, I would like to take this opportunity to um, acknowledge the research and the grant uh, around a Hong Kong dollar 50,000 um, received from the school to um, complete this research study. Um, this is the end of my presentation today.